Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, it is my pleasure and privilege to welcome participant mainly from the ASEAN countries and for her first virtual conference of the ASEAN Think Tanks Network Empowering ASEAN 4.0. I'm honored and grateful to have the support of the Consul General of Malaysia in Hong Kong, Mr. Yap Wei Sin, for accepting to give his opening remark and from His Excellency Franz Jessen, former EU ambassador to the Philippines for his closing remarks. I also want to thank ahead all the speakers who are taking the time to provide their insight and expertise and to participate for this virtual event. Our speakers today are composed of people and experts in various fields, from entrepreneurs to young leaders to academic and C-level executives to governmental officials with strong achievements and recognition such as Forbes Under 30 list, TEDx speaker, UN Women Prize, Asia Society 21, and World Economic Forum Young Leaders. This reflects the diversity and quality of the ASEAN Think Tanks Network. The vision of ATTN Networks aims at enhancing systematic knowledge, sharing among members of the Think Tanks to people with an interest in ASEAN and topics related to the fourth industrial revolution such as digital economy, smart cities, infrastructures, health and education 4.0, artificial intelligence among others. Also, empowering the think tank's capacity to generate knowledge and brainstorming on some projects through a collaborative approach that we will use with data mapping and artificial intelligence tool. In the future, networking events, hybrid conference, private lunch dinners will be held among ASEAN cities. Recently, with the signature of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, the ASEAN voice was strengthened by its position in the global economic scene. Today's virtual conference is under the theme of Empowering ASEAN 4.0, theme up to date with the current pandemic, which has accelerated the benefits, but also limitation of the fourth industrial revolution. I would like to share a few statistics before sharing you some key ideas from ASEAN 4.0. Since the COVID-19 crisis, internet usage has risen by 70%. The use of communication apps has doubled and some video streaming service have seen daily usage rise by 20. People got accustomed to work remotely, buying things online, and attending virtual conference. This will be lasting impact. The four industrial revolution will provide key opportunities for change, but also we will see some challenges for sustainable development within the ASEAN region. Opportunities such as Agricultural transformation. Smartphones give farmers better access to market price, weather information, and product knowledge. It also improves product traceability and reduces the risk of food being contaminated. Connecting the unconnected. New renewable energy technologies that are generated locally rather than centralized power grids can link people to electricity. Drone delivery service also offers an opportunity to provide improved access to vital supplies, such as vaccine, to remote areas. But it's also a force for economic and social inclusion. ASEAN citizens will gain access to new sources of information, new digital financial services, such as blockchain and fintech, but also new forms of education, online courses, and virtual classrooms. But there is also limitation, with mainly a disruptions and job losses. Artificial intelligence and robotics are rapidly increasing the jobs that machines can perform better and faster than people. Also, the vulnerability to cyber attacks, because more and more devices sensors and machines are connected to the internet. 
Some of the points mentioned will be elaborated more in details later with our agenda of speakers and during our webinar session. The digital transformation will play a key role in recovery, use of digital tools, but it's only possible if we do have good infrastructures and access to internet. Innovative partnership among tech companies, banks, governments, and education providers can accelerate digital transformation for small businesses. To conclude, let us not forget all people who have been impacted by the pandemics losing their jobs and their lives in addition of natural catastrophe such as flood and typhoon. Also, let us not forget that we are all facing the crisis together as human beings, so resilience, human-centric approach and empathy shall prevail for the people who need us. Finally, I wish to quote Professor Schwab, COVID-19 has accelerated our transition into the age of the fourth industrial revolution. We have to make sure that new technologies in the digital, biological, and physical world remain human-centered and save society as a whole. Thanks again for joining us today, and I wish you all a productive virtual conference.